Hello everyone, my name is Avner and in this video I will provide a walkthrough of the free Logiquist Sudoku app. We are an indie dev team, basically a small team uh, of friends, Sudoku lovers, and we have created what is, we think, the, a great combination of both logic and uh, entertainment. The app includes, in addition to classic uh, Sudoku, 12 Sudoku uh, variants, which add both fun and each variant require a different set of logic to complete a Sudoku board. We add to the game boards uh, very frequently uh, and in addition both we add both zone and uh, variants to keep the app engaging all the time. All the boards are handcrafted boards uh, created by uh, logic with once we will go into the zones you'll be able to see that they are not computer generated but uh, uh, handcrafted and have a great uh, a great appealing appearance uh, the variants are arranged into six uh, six zone each zone has its core uh, variants core variants appear in each game of the zone and in addition uh, games may have variants uh, from, uh, from other zones. The zones are classic which include only base, uh, classic Sudoku uh, games for the classic Sudoku lovers. Logic Lane has two core variants which are Thermo and Palindrome Sudoku. Excalibur a single core variant which is Aero Sudoku. Queen Gambit has five core variants which are non-consecutive diagonal, chess king, chess knight, and uh, crookie. Killer has a single core variant, which is killer Sudoku, and sandwich has a single core variant, which is uh, sandwich Sudoku. Solve your own is a special uh, zone. Basically, you, you can try to create your own classic Sudoku board or enter board from a different app or a magazine or board that you have difficulty solving and use logic with smart hint to help you get uh, through uh, the hurdle the red dot next to logic land basically tells me that this is the last zone i uh, played in uh, in the app if you want to continue from the same place where you stopped the last time you uh, used the app the icon over here is for all the games that I started and haven't finished yet, basically in progress uh, games. The diamond icon is if you want to become a prime uh, member of Logic with uh, Sudoku. And the setting icon gives you different uh, settings for the app, including game settings that I will go uh, through the settings later when we continue the walkthrough through the app. Uh, let's start uh, to move forward. So I'm going into Logic Lens. The game are arranged in a gallery view. You have 10 games which you can play at, at, in each level at any point of uh, time. Once you finish a game, additional uh, game is open and you can continue the quest until you finish. There are hundreds of games in each, uh, in each uh, level. You can switch level by clicking the level icon. You have five levels from beginner uh, to expert, basically fitting to every player uh, level. Here you can see the number of boards you have completed in this uh, level. Here, the number of medals that you have uh, won in this level. Basically, every 10 games awards you with a medal. If you want to get more information about the zone itself, click the information icon next to the uh, zone name and it will give, provide you what are the core variants and additional information. Uh, let's now uh, enter a game. You click a game, you get a preview of uh, the game and you can, uh, you can start it. This is a screen where you'll spend the majority of the time trying to solve, uh, to, uh, solve Sudoku boards. 
the icon here, or the image in the top uh, left, you can click it and basically get the rules of this specific uh, board. And in this specific board, we have classic Sudoku. Classic Sudoku is so far applied to all the boards in uh, the game. In the future, we might add variants which not all the classic Sudoku rules uh, apply. And in addition, you have the turbo rules. You have here a brief description of the turbo. And if you need additional information about the turbo, just click the more and you'll get a full description of the turbo uh, variant. Above the board is a timer, is how long you are solving uh, this board. You can pause it at any time. In addition, there is also an auto pause. I will go over it once we'll uh, go over the game settings. There is a bulb icon on the top uh, right. And the bulb icon, basically, if you are stuck and you need a hint, click the bulb icon and you will get a visual hint for, uh, uh, for the board. No matter what is the situation you are on the board, you will always get a hint which is relevant to where you are. Those are clever hints, basically apply uh, many strategies, both for classic Sudoku and for the variants themselves. You can click again the bulb and not accept the hint, or you can click the V icon and accept the hint. I will accept the hint in, uh, in this case. In addition, we have the vertical uh, three dots, the more button, as we call it. In the more button, you can switch to dark team. Dark team is applied only to the board, uh, board screen. You can view from here the game settings. Again, we'll go over them later. You can read the how to play detailed explanation of all the buttons uh, and the game setting in the game. Or you can view a short tutorial uh, that most of you will see when you start uh, the game that take you through the basic activity uh, of the game. So we have uh, the board itself and uh, the Sudoku. I'm going to switch to white team, light team. You have the, the Sudoku board, you have icon which do perform different activities. We'll go over them and the digit number where you enter digit into uh, a board. So basically, in order to enter digit into the board, you select a cell. You select a cell by tapping a cell. And then you check which digit applied to the cell and you enter it. So let's enter a digit. For example, two here can be only here. Uh, this is because of the thermal rule. It cannot be in the cell uh, next to it. So I basically enter the number two, tap the number two, and two is entering into the cell. If I think, if I did something that I not satisfied with, satisfied with, I can click the undo button, and the number will be removed. You can do unlimited undo or redo, which is the button next to it to go forward with your, your action. There is additional way to enter a digit into a number. We call it a sticky digit. You basically long press a digit. And when you long press a digit, once I'll tap the cell, the digit will enter into the cell. Or if I select multiple cells, those digit, the, this digit will enter uh, as a pencil mark into uh, those cells. And to switch from sticky uh, digit to normal entering digit uh, mode, basically long press again, and we are back to the normal uh, to the normal mode. How do we enter pencil mark into cells? So you have seen one method. I will go over it again. But the most simple way, you click the pen button. You select a cell and you enter a digit or multiple digit, and you enter a pencil mark into uh, the cell. Alternative way, when the pencil mark is not selected, you can select multiple cells by going over multiple cells with your uh, finger and select them, and then again, enter multiple digits. 
You can also select the cells which are including a given digit or a digit you enter yourself and it won't affect the digit itself. So I selected multiple cells going over a digit and again I can enter multiple uh, pencil marks into the cell. You can even select cells in discontinuous areas and uh, enter pencil marks in them. So I basically select here an area, I go into a different area, I start with a long press and then I continue to move. So I selected cells in two distinct locations and now I can enter pencil marks into uh, those cells. So those are basically the ways to enter pencil marks into the digit. You can arrange the uh, pencil mark as corner pencil marks like it, it is uh, now, which are arranged in three rows, or you can move them into a center uh, location by clicking the pencil mark style uh, button. It will switch between center and corner location. You can see also to distinct center from the corner, the center digits are in italic mode. So you can distinct between the four, five, six here and the four, five, six here. And know that those are corner ones and those are uh, center ones. If you want to remove selection for the board, you basically tap anywhere outside of the board and you lose selection. And once you lose selection, if you will hit a digit, you will see all the digits on the board which are identical uh, to, uh, to this digit. So both uh, pencil mark and given or enter the, or enter the digits. There is a delete button. You can select a cell, basically hit the delete button. It will remove the content of the cells. You can also do a long press on the delete button. And when we do a long press on the delete button, you can remove different items from uh, the board. I'll just remove now the entire board, basically started from uh, the beginning. I remove everything all, click OK, and I start the board basically from the beginning, though the timer, pay attention, is not resetting. Just continue after you are restarting the board. In addition, in uh, some board, it may be beneficial to have a different ways to mark different uh, cells. So you can mark few cells and use the highlight uh, button. You have nine highlight colors. You can enter a highlight color or any color at any location that, uh, that you want. Or you can remove the highlight again by selecting the cells and pressing the first button. It will remove the highlights from the cells. In addition, mainly in uh, sandwich games, but not only in sandwich games, you can use different symbols and highlights uh, in the cells. We have, as of now, only one single symbol, which is X. In the future, we might add, add additional, uh, additional symbol. There is additional method to enter notes into a game, which is called double notation. You can enter in a single uh, board, both, uh, both corner pencil mark or center pencil mark. It's really, really important in, for expert game. And there are some uh, people who it really helps them solve the board. Double notation is available in game settings and uh, players who want to use double notation can use it by activating it in game, uh, in game uh, settings. Let's move from here to discuss the different items in uh, game settings. So game setting. First item is basically show timer. If uh, the timer disturb you in solving the boards or you don't like to be under pressure when seeing the timer all the time, you can, you can hide it. Uh, there are four 
error modes in the application, this, this part is extremely uh, important. Uh, the first one is always. What always means as soon as you enter a wrong digit into a cell, this digit will be painted in red, uh, telling you that you made an error. The second mode is only on uh, rule violation, meaning when you enter error into the board, unless it's violate uh, the trivial rules of the game, you won't see an error. For example, what is trivial rule in a game? If I put, uh, if row has already the digit three and I will enter additional three, it's a trivial uh, rule violation and you will see an error immediately. Delayed. Sometimes you are making uh, mistakes uh, just because uh, you haven't uh, uh, thought it through or you press the wrong digit accidentally. So delayed is once you enter a mistake, you are not going to see the mistake immediately. Only once you do the following errors, then, sorry, not the following errors, only once you enter a following cell while the, priv the error is still on the board, you're going to see an error. So basically, it's not to let you see errors immediately if it's just an error that you made out of being uh, careless with your fingers. And never, basically, you will never see an error. You will continue to solve the board, and if you made it uh, good, perfect, you will uh, finish the board, and if you made a mistake, there will be a time that you find out, hey, I made multiple errors, I need to move uh, back and find out uh, where have I gone uh, wrong. Uh, the undo button here will come, uh, uh, will come handy and will let you do that. Highlight uh, matching number is basically once you have a cell selected with a digit, uh, it will highlight all the matching digits uh, on the board. Highlight restricted areas is, I'm going to show you that. Highlight restricted areas. So I selected a nine, basically in all the grade cells here, there cannot be nine. So nine is restricted from these areas because I already uh, have a nine here. And the items I showed you before is highlight matching numbers. So you see I have nine selected. All the nines on the board are basically highlighted. Highlight matching uh, pencil mark, it's uh, the same thing. Why, once I select uh, a digit, digit, all the pencil mark of this digit will be highlighted. For example, I'll enter here, nine. Once I enter a nine, you'll see that both the cells are highlighted and the nine is covered with a golden, uh, golden frame. Again, it's just to assist you to see immediately where you already have entered existing uh, pencil mark. Auto remove pencil mark is if you have a row or column that have, say, pencil mark of nine in them, and you enter in that row or column the digit nine, the pencil mark nine will automatically remove from all the Play from all the cells that see the nine that you entered. Sees in the, this case mean in the same three by three box, in the same row, or the same uh, same column. Long press for multi-select. I have showed you before how we can uh, select distinct areas with uh, long press. So uh, you can deactivate it uh, using this option. Display combination panel is basically something which is relevant only to sandwich and uh, killer game and I will uh, and I will show it to you. So we'll go to a killer game. Killer game has basically cages that have uh, uh, 
small number at the top left uh, of the cage. Basically, the digits in the cage, the sum of them has to match the number on the top uh, left uh, corner. So if I select a cell on the cage, I'm going to see here a combination panel at uh, the top. Those are basically all the combinations that compose the sum of uh, 14. And you can, if you think that a combination cannot work in a cage, you can basically deselect it and leave only those three as an, uh, as an option. So again, some, uh, some players might think that displaying the combination panel make the board too easy for them to solve. Uh, and then uh, they would like it to, uh, they would like not to see it. So you have a way not to see it. I'd like to show you another item in a killer game. And this is basically to assist you. I selected two cages, 14 and 14. The sum here basically will show you the total number of all the cages that I have uh, selected. Another very important feature in uh, uh, in killer game, for example, is hidden cages. Sometimes you know the sum of cells which are not arranged in a in a cage, and you want it to mark it on the board. So let's assume, for example, that those three are a hidden cage. I can create a hidden cage by basically pressing the icon here at the top. And let's assume that I think that the sum of those three cages is nine. So I've created now a hidden cage, and those are all the options uh, that compose uh, that compose the sum of nine of this uh, hidden cage. And I can treat this sum as I would treat any sum of any other cages, and I can move to a different uh, cage of a diff or a different uh, cell, come back over here and still, uh, still see the hidden cage that I have created before and remember the selection I did for the sum uh, earlier. I can obviously create hidden cages uh, in distinct uh, location, including on location that already have cages in them. So I create a different uh, uh, hidden cage mark the sum that I think that are not relevant for those locations, come over here, go back to one of the hidden cage, then I'll see the drop down menu that I can select which sum do I want to see. Do I want to see the sum of the cage or do I want to see the sum of the hidden cage uh, that I created? If you created a hidden cage and you think this hidden cage was wrong or it's not relevant anymore, you can uh, again use a drop down uh, and remove the hidden cage. The same combination panel appear also in sandwich game. Again, I will go over it in details once we'll cover uh, in the video of uh, uh, sandwich. I'll basically do a series of video for each of the variant giving uh, the basic rule of the variant, give example how to solve uh, a board uh, from the variant, uh, just to let you know uh, all the variant and how uh, and how to solve them. Uh, back to game setting, the last Oh, we discussed before the auto pause. So if you would like the timer to stop moving, if you haven't been active for some time, you can basically configure auto pause in the game that if you haven't been active X amount of minutes in the game, uh, the timer will, uh, uh, will stop. And the last thing is double notation. I'm not going to cover it in details uh, here, but just know the existence of it. You can activate it, and when you activate it, you can uh, enter uh, both corner and uh, center pencil mark just to show you how it is uh, uh, working. It is here the 
button shows me that I'm in double notation, uh, double notation mode. Once I enter the pencil mark into into cells, it enter it as a corner uh, pencil mark uh, initially, and I can add now also center pencil mark. And you see that the corner pencil marks move to the corner, and the center center pencil mark got uh, the uh, the middle row. Two can appear both in corner pencil mark and a middle pencil mark. Again, those who are who know uh, to use uh, double notation, go ahead. In most of the games, there is no need to use double notation, and I won't go over it in this uh, in this video uh, how to play cover a lot of uh, the things that I have covered in the, this video if you want to go back to it and uh, read it uh, game tutorial available here again to walk through some of the items we have discussed uh, in the video majority of you will see it when uh, you start the game and again game rules for every game and each game depending on the variance of the game have a different uh, set of rules so remember the top left uh, icon give you the rules of uh, the specific board this uh, was a little bit longer than i expected that but this give you I think good overview of uh, the app. I might have uh, skipped uh, one or two items, but I hope uh, it will get you going and knowing the app better and use it to the full potential uh, that it has. Thank you very much for watching. We'll see you in future videos.